Hi everybody, this is Chris Coleman for HelpForTheHand.com and today we're going to talk about a condition called De Quervain's tenosynovitis. And what that is, it's a tendonitis, it's an inflammation of some tendons um, that run on the thumb side of your wrist. The wrist is made up of six compartments or tunnels and tendons go through those tunnels. You can see my ECD tendon right here and that actually goes through the fourth compartment. Um, but the tendons that where this is, we're talking about with the Dequer veins is at the base of your thumb. And those tendons, what they do is they run right here. One's gonna come up this way and it's gonna bring your thumb out. And the other one is gonna run right with it in that tunnel and it's gonna bring your thumb up like that. So we see this in a lot of golfers, uh, racket sports, often in the dominant hand. Uh, most time women have it more than men. Um, and we also see this in postpartum women because if you can picture a small baby, we hold them like this with our thumbs out and they to stabilize the head when we lift them up out of the crib or lift them wherever they want. So um, with the hormones that are occurring in, in, the, in females after they give birth, um, it plays a, a role in the laxity and along with that very specific behavioral move that happens after childbirth, uh, you tend to irritate those tendons. So we see those across the gamut with a number of people. It's often sharp pain when you're moving the thumb or when you're using the thumb. And it occurs right here in what they call the anatomical snuff box, which by the way, as a side note, is one of my personal favorite anatomical terms. Anatomical snuff box, it's just fun to say and it's just kind of interesting. Um, so people who have this, again, anytime they use their hand, it, it hurts when they're pinching, when they're grabbing, when they're bringing their thumb away from things. You get that sharp pain right at your wrist here. Um, similar a bit to the location of the CMC arthritis. Um, CMC arthritis tends to be more achy um, after the fact. Tendonitis, in my opinion, tends to be more sore and sharp as you're doing something, and then it lingers after often. So if you have this condition, there's something very easy, a very easy test you can do to kind of see if that's what it is versus if it's arthritis. And what you do is you take your hand and you're just gonna put your thumb in your hand like this and then wrap your fingers around. And often that causes pain. So I'm just gonna switch it like this. So again, my thumb is in my hand, my fingers are wrapped around. And if I just bring my wrist down like that, kind of like I'm milking, you're gonna get a lot, you're gonna feel it right there. And that's gonna be the pain. So. If you've got that, go ahead and try that and if you get some pain, and often it's just putting your thumb here and wrapping your fingers around, you don't even have to bring the wrist. If you get pain when you're doing this, don't bother doing that because it's just gonna make it worse. Um, so you've got inflammation there, too much stuff going through an area that's too small. Two things you can do for that. One, you can reduce the amount of inflammation or the stuff that's in the tunnel, that's the conservative measure, and certainly we do that with some NSAIDs, some over-the-counter, under-the-counter medication that does that. We can do it with some ice, uh, making sure we ice it 10 minutes at a time. Take a frozen bag of peas or an ice pack and put it in a, a dish, thin dish towel or in a t-shirt um, and wrap it right in that area and that'll help reduce the inflammation. Also, you can do some splinting. Um, and again, there's some good splints, there's some bad splints out there. Uh, certainly feel free if you want more information on that or some help in, in assessing that. You can certainly reach out to me through the website, helpforthehand.com, or you can email me personally at jchriscoleman at gmail.com and I'll be happy to try and help you through because um, it is important to figure out if it is kind of CMC arthritis or if it is this De Quervain's tenosynovitis um, in what we immobilize and what we allow you to use and what we want to splint when we do that. So again, if you're suffering from this condition, a simple test, put your fingers in there, wrap it, come on down, you'll feel that. Rest is the best thing. Um, the other way that you can manage this condition if the conservative method does not work is you can go ahead and have surgery, which is when they make the, the tunnel bigger. So two ways, make the stuff in the tunnel less or you make the tunnel bigger. Those are really the two ways that you can handle this diagnosis. So thank you very much for um, checking things out. If you've got any other issues, check out the uh, other videos that are on this channel. Check out the website for more important information on hand diagnosis, elbow diagnosis. We'll be posting shoulder stuff in the future as well. Thanks. Have yourself a great day.